Hello everyone, I hope you are having a wonderful day as you're watching this video. I know I am, it's super sunny and I got to go outside and run so I feel great. Um, <laughs> anyway, I am talking today about this idea of formal and informal adjectives. Um, in our course, The Three Keys IELTS Success System, one of the uh, major advantages is we have a closed Facebook group only for students in our course. And we've had some interesting discussions in our uh, Three Keys community about formal and informal adjectives. And I don't want you guys to get hung up on this definition of formal and informal, okay? Because I'm, I'm gonna tell you why you have to be a little bit flexible because that's real life. Okay, so first of all, we think, okay, what is informal? Informal is like slang, phrasal verbs, right? That's kind of the in what we say is informal language, right? Hey, buddy, what's up? Informal. Um, now, on the other end of the spectrum is formal. So that's academic vocabulary, high-level vocabulary. Now, that doesn't mean they don't mix, all right? So for instance, a student asked something about like, is exquisite a formal adjective or something? That doesn't matter because it's a high level adjective. Now, in my speaking, even if I'm talking to friends, it doesn't matter who I'm talking to or how informal the conversation, I'm still gonna use impressive language because I love words as should you. Just because a word is high level doesn't mean it's formal. That's what I'm, that's my point today, okay? So I'm going to give you some examples of high level words that you should be using throughout your speaking exam, okay? They're, they're not formal or informal. They are high level, all right? So for example, don't say I like or I love, say I adore. Don't say something is um, amazing or perfect. Say it is exquisite. Also, sublime. I love that adjective because it is also the name of one of my favorite bands. <laughs> anyway, exquisite, sublime, very high level adjectives, meaning like perfect. Sublime is also like perfect happiness, right? To feel sublime. I love it. Um, also, if you're describing a friend, don't say she's talkative or outgoing or whatever. Say she's verbose. Mm, I love that word. Ver Some might, might say I am verbose. Verbose just means they talk a lot, right? They use a lot of words, verbose. Great word, high level. Um, and last, like don't say something is big. Say it is vast or massive, okay? So let me tell you why this is important, guys, because really so often the key to increasing your vocabulary score in speaking part one and part two is using adjectives, guys, descriptive, impressive adjectives. So I encourage you to use the ones today to start your list to impress the examiner and then keep adding to them as you are reading and watching widely. Okay, guys, if you are ready for the complete system of strategies that is guaranteed to get you past IELTS this year, just get it over with. Stop thinking about IELTS. You got to commit yourself to the three keys IELTS success system. It's guaranteed, guys, to increase your IELTS scores. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S. All right, that's it for me. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and remember, if any of these videos have helped you in your English journey, please share them on your Facebook page. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bonus tip, get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app featuring exclusive bonus video lessons with Jessica, Lindsay, and Michelle. Get the app now at allearsenglish.com forward slash app.